Watch me transform Charlie's hair from no good hair to Hollywood hair. I got this doll from the thrift shop. It wasn't until I got her out of the bag that I realized her hair had been cut. My viewers helped me identify her as Charlie from the Pampered Pups collection. I googled her and found out that she is rare. Why anyone would cut her hair, I don't know. This is a real mess. Here's a long piece and super short right in the front. Below that is this and longer pieces on top. Looks like they took a black Sharpie marker here. And here. This is a challenge to fix for sure. Random short pieces all over. The back is cut short. The hair feels dry. It's dull, no shine at all. Sharpie marker here too. And on her nails. Wow, that person went to town with the marker and scissors. This short hair came in handy when I was designing swimsuits. The hair didn't get in the way. I didn't have to pin it up or anything. So that inspired me to transform her into a retro swimsuit model with Hollywood waves, commonly known as finger waves. I've never done them, but I can't make a bigger mess than this, right? So let's get started. I got my spray bottle with fabric softener and hot water and my metal dog comb. You know the routine. Time to wash your hair in dish soap and hot water. Fresh and clean. Comb out any tangles. The hot water and the ice water dunk will be after I curl her hair. This long piece, I'll curl that later. I need all the long pieces at the top. Okay. So the rest of the hair, I'm not going to curl. They're too short. So I'm just going to gather it all in the back and hold it together with clips. This is the section I'll be curling. I'm using the skinniest straws I could find. I need about 10 of them, about two inches long. Lift the hair up, smooth it out. Place a straw against it and fold the hair over it. This straw forms the crest of the wave. I'll call this the crest straw. Now place another straw against the crest straw. This forms the valley of the wave. I'll call this the valley straw. Put a bobby pin into the two straws to hold them together. Get this piece out of the way. One side of the bobby pin goes in the valley straw and the other side goes into the crest straw. So this completes one wave. I'm putting a bobby pin here to hold down this section to the head. I'm going to repeat this for the second wave. Crest straw. Valley straw. Pin them together. Third wave. Crest straw. Valley straw. Pin them together. Fourth wave, crest straw, valley straw, pin them together. Last wave, crest straw and valley straw, pin them together. So 
so that these waves keep their shape, I'm putting a bobby pin into a valley straw from one wave to the crest straw of another wave. Repeat right to the last wave. This is the first time I'm doing Hollywood waves with this method that I dreamed up in my head. Uh, yeah, so I'm just making it up as I go. Hollywood waves done on a real head of hair. It's not done this way. Okay, just telling you. It should look like this when you're done. These are very small waves because of her short hair. If she had longer hair, I would pin valley straw to valley straw for bigger waves. I'll try that on another doll one day. This long piece, I'll curl the regular way. Now it's time for the hot water dunk. This water is almost at boiling point. This method is commonly known as boil perm. Because of the tight curls, I'll leave her in for five minutes. Next is the ice water dunk. I usually have ice cubes in here to make it super cold, but I didn't have any. Leave her in for three minutes. Time's up. Take her out and pat dry her hair. Curled hair takes longer to dry. I'll put her in the sunlight to speed it along. Her hair is dry. I'm worried of losing the curls, so I'm going to use some hairspray before I take out the straws. Just a light mist. Wait for the hairspray to dry. Okay, let's see how these waves turned out. I'm so excited. My first attempt at these finger waves. So many bobby pins. Oh, beautiful. This one is stuck. Oops, I forgot a pin. Oh my gosh, they turned out perfect. Oops, I forgot to spray this curl. Take out the clips. Gel down the loose hairs. Take out the straw. I want this curl to lay flat, so I'll hold it together with a bobby pin and hairspray it again. Beautiful. I need this piece to cover the bald spot. Bring that curl to the front. Wow, perfect length. All done. Let's have a look. Wow, this came out really nice considering what I had to work with. These Hollywood waves look awesome. I used a lot of gel to hold down all the short hair. Now all she needs to be a retro swimsuit model are swimsuits. In part two, I'll show you how to make these beautiful swimsuits. So easy. No sewing or gluing. Look at the variety. So many colors and so many styles. Once you know how to do the basics, the possibilities are endless. And it doesn't stop at swimsuits. Add some stickers or trim or some fabric and it gives it a whole new look. Doesn't Charlie make an awesome swimsuit model? Do you remember what she looked like before? She was a thrift shop doll with no good hair. Now she has Hollywood hair. Another doll rescued from the thrift shop. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. If you like this video, click like. Check out these videos. Don't forget to subscribe!